As the 21st of December is drawing ever nearer, there are still people who think that this year is going to show something cataclysmic. And they try to support their crazy notions by claiming that there are clear signs out there that show that we are ramping up towards something very big to be happening very soon. Just listen to Nainania's videos, for example, to hear the insanity for yourself. But of course, if we are going to dismiss this nonsense, we better have a strong case to make. Because these people like to throw things into the discussion, such as, for example, bold assertions that there is a marked increase in frequency and or severity of earthquakes. And is this actually the case? Well, I would suggest, why don't you go and check for yourself? Go to the video description, I've posted some links there for you. And the first link that I will post there is one that will allow you, yourself, to run queries against a number of different earthquake databases to find out for yourself how many earthquakes there have been happening in the last few years. I did it for you for the years 2000 all the way up to the 21st of November of this year, because that was yesterday when I did all this. And the numbers speak for themselves. If you're talking about earthquake frequencies, it is clear that 2012 has certainly not been a significant year. It has certainly been bucking the trend, because if you look at the last three years, 2009, 2010 and 2011, if you are gullible enough to believe the nonsense, you might look at that and say, oh my god, there is an actual increase happening year on year, there are more earthquakes. But 2012 bucked that trend and put an end to it, because 2012 has seen so far only about 1500 earthquakes and if this carries on the way it has this year we are going to see a year that is probably around the same ballpark as 2004 with regard to earthquake frequencies and that has been surpassed by every year since in other words 2012 is promising to become the quietest year since 2004 so much for increased earthquake frequencies. But make it, let's make it even more interesting and look at the actual earthquake severity, the energy levels that, is, that are being output by earthquakes. And then we need to realize that, of course, earthquakes are, the magnitudes are presented in a logarithmic scale, and that a difference of a magnitude of two between one earthquake and an, the next actually equates to a difference in energy output of a factor of a thousand. In other words, an earthquake of magnitude 7 is a thousand times more energetic than an earthquake of magnitude 5. So we need to keep that into mind. So what I did is I defined the unit of severity as being whatever an earthquake of magnitude 5 is. So if an earthquake of magnitude 5 punches a level 1, then an earthquake of magnitude 7 punches in level 1000. So I put all the earthquakes from 2000, the 1st of January 2000, all the way up to the 21st of November 2012, into a spreadsheet, which again I put into the link for you there on the video description, and I gave them their energy number from 1 for a magnitude 5, all the earthquakes of magnitude 5 and higher, by the way, I put in the spreadsheet. I gave the number 1 to magnitude 5 and the other numbers according to their ma the magnitude, so a 1000 for magnitude 7. And I added all those numbers up to give the kind of uh, an indication of the energy output for each year. And again, I found that 2012 is nothing special whatsoever. The median of energy output, if you take a magnitude 5 as 1, works out of between 100,000 and 200,000 energy units for a year. That would be a median year. 2008 was a very quiet year. It doesn't even punch to about 80,000, which is very low. 2012 does punch a little bit above the median, but it is in the same ballpark as three other years. 
in the last decade. So it is nothing special and it certainly pales into insignificance when we look at the big hitters, which are of course the years 2004 and 2011, because in those years we saw magnitude 9 or higher earthquakes and of course remember the logarithmic scale, an earthquake of magnitude 9 is worth in energy the same as 32 earthquakes of magnitude 8. So have one of those in your total and the thing goes into the 1 million region. And that is clearly visible from the figures as I calculated them in the spreadsheet for you. Go check for yourself. So once again to recap 2012 punched well below its weight when it comes to frequency of earthquakes. It is nothing like the three preceding years. And 2012 is bog standard when it comes to total energy output for earthquakes for this year. So when it then comes to looking at the claim that increased frequency and severity of earthquakes is some sort of indicator that something big is coming very very soon, there is only one conclusion that any sane person can reach and that's that it's all one big steaming heap of horse manure. But surely we knew that already.